the skin. Okay. Ask the patient whether she has ever had a positive reaction to a PPD injection or TB test. If yes, report this information to the provider before administering the medication. An individual with a history of a positive PPD test result always has a positive result because of antibody action. Ask the patient if he or she has any allergies. Have you ever tested positive for TB before? No. Okay. Do you have any known allergies of any medications? Not that I know of. Ask the patient if she can return in 48 to 72 hours for the reading. And will you be able to return in two to three days to have this read? Yes. Then find out if she has ever had a BCG immunization. Sanitize your hands again and put on gloves. Have the patient extend a forearm with the palm facing upward. Identify an appropriate site for an injection. The site should be two to four inches below the elbow, free from veins, scars, or wounds. Loosen the cap on the needle so that you'll be able to open it with one hand once you clean the injection site. Open the alcohol wipe. Place your non-dominant hand on the back of the patient's forearm to pull the skin taut. Another option is to wrap your thumb and the first two fingers of your non-dominant hand around the patient's forearm, pulling downward and apart to stretch the skin taut at the location of the injection. Cleanse the patient's skin with an alcohol wipe using a circular motion, moving from the center outward and creating about a two-inch area. Allow the antiseptic to dry. Pick up the syringe and tip it to remove the cover. Grasp the syringe in your dominant hand. Use your thumb and index finger. Make sure to have no fingers under the syringe. Ensure the bevel is up. With the bevel up and using a 5 to 15 degree angle, slowly insert the needle until the bevel is covered with skin. Carefully lower the syringe to the skin and hold it steady with your dominant hand. Move your non-dominant hand to the plunger. Slowly and steadily inject the medication by pressing on the plunger. If a 6 to 10 millimeter wheel does not appear, repeat the test at least 2 inches from the site. Double check the barrel of the syringe to make sure all of the medication was administered. Withdraw the needle. Activate the needle's safety device with one hand. Discard the needle and syringe in a biohazard sharps container. Make sure to put the needle in first. Do not massage the area. Offer a bandage. Place the bandage on very loosely to just absorb any blood from the site. Some offices will not allow the use of a bandage. Observe the patient for any adverse reactions. Clean up the area. Discard all waste in the biohazard waste container. Sanitize your hands. Document the procedure in the health record. Include assessments done, patient allergies, teaching or instructions provided, the provider ordering the medication, the medication name, dose, route, and how the patient tolerated the medication. Also include the manufacturer, lot, and expiration date of the vial. When the patient returns in 48 to 72 hours, Check your documentation to identify the location of the test. Sanitize your hands again and put on gloves. All right, Tina. I'm going to take a look at your left arm where we gave you the TB injection. Palpate the site for an induration. All right, everything looks negative. That's good. Do you have any questions? What would it have looked like if it were positive? Uh, well, if it was positive, it would uh, be raised off the skin uh, with some swelling and inflammation. Okay. And then what would happen? The doctor uh, would order more testing to confirm that it's active. Gotcha. And then talk about the treatment process. Okay. Okay. If an induration is felt, ask the patient if you can write on her arm. Using a ballpoint pen, draw a line towards the induration from the outer edge of the arm. Repeat on the other side. With a disposable millimeter ruler, accurately measure the distance between the two points. Dispose of your gloves in the biohazard waste container. Then sanitize your hands. Document the reading in the patient's health record. Include the reason for the patient's visit, the arm read, the size of the induration in millimeters, and the provider notified.